Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to um, uh, My Lumber, which is also going to be uh, Let's Make a Game. Hold on. What did I do here? Okay. I'm not messing with the car tonight. Although I probably should. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's fix the model real quick. <laughs> Come on up. There you go. That should be a little bit better. I'll try it. Probably gonna break apart. Did it break apart. I didn't break. Sweet. All right. So it's not broken. Oh, it's broke. <laughs> oh wait, it's a remote control car. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. Look at that. As long as there's not anybody sitting on it, it kind of works. <laughs> it does not work code. All right, fine, you got me. <clears throat> but um, we will come over here. So I wanted to take the three scripts that I've got, which are the generation script, the tree script, which is the sapling, and the angles script, and try and combine them all together tonight. I predict that I'm not going to get through this in this one episode, okay? But you are going to see a bunch of coding, a bunch of me messing around with things and hopefully something cool so that's what i'm gonna get to and you know it's it's life lessons as well because i'm gonna be sitting here talking and stuff anyhow let's see under my server storage i have this thing called tree configurations and i have one called tree scripts what did i do with tree scripts okay script created by code primate this is a model of creative street trees okay um the tree, bark, color, all this good stuff. Okay. And that will actually return self. Okay, so this is this is the actual function of planting a tree. Can't grow here equals true, false, blah blah blah. And we pass in the planters, which that is actually my gen script over here. Basically. 1 to 10. What was the max minimum? I guess it just it plants a single tree. Mm. Let's go call this real quick. Um, so, let's see, we're going to need the tree model script. So, um, test tree equals, or was that stored? Uh, game, oops, game dot get service server scripting service. Is that where it was at? Yeah, I don't even remember what was where it was. Da, 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 da. Server storage. Oh, I'm not going to be able to call that from a local script, am I? Da, 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 yeah, I. No. Hmm. This isn't C-frame script. What is this? This is yeah. That's a that's a script script. That's an in-game script, server script. So, <clears throat> okay, go back over here. Server script. Nope. 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 Psh, close that. It's going to be under server storage. So, server storage. Dot tree scripts dot tree module M O D U L E and we are going to say requires or require that. So test tree has now become um, part of the script. So in order to plant a tree, let's see, we have a clone feature down here. Okay, so inside my tree model, let's see, tree model dot new tree object. What is a tree object? Tree object dot bark material, bark color, core material, core color, cell value, planked cell value. So. Uh, instead of doing 
the tree clone, blah is going to be the tree dot new. Wait. Yeah, and I gotta get rid of this. So let's actually just comment this out. The, uh, that's test tree. So we're going to call this test tree tree dot new. And then we have to pass it in the tree model. Um, da -da -da -da. Oh gosh, I've had. All right, it's been a little while since I've actually taken a look at this. So, bark material, bark color, core material, core color, cell value, <clears throat> and plinked cell. Value. So those should be all I need to pass in. So let's go back over here to test gen. And I'm actually going to just do this. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to create a new tree model. All right, uh, tree model equals. And then I've got a tree configuration over here. So bark color materials, um, let's call this, actually, yeah, tree model equals game dot server storage dot tree configuration dot oak. I think I should be able to pass that in. Tree model. Uh, local. Okay. Cross your fingers on that one. Mm, come on, touch. Boink. It's gonna break. Something's gonna break. Did it break? It broke. What did I break? I just pass that in. Can I pass that in? Well, that didn't work. I'm definitely gonna have to figure out the modules better because I'm not good at them at all. I've tried figuring out the whole meta table thing and it's just not working for me. And who knows, I might just use a, like a humongous script, which would be horrible to try and debug later, but. All right, we're not messing with the C-frame script yet. We're just messing with the, the tree generation. Test tree dot new. Test tree right there, requires game. Let's just, let's do this. Dot server storage. I know, I know. A lot of people are like, what are you doing that for? Storage dot tree scripts dot tree module. That one right there. Tree module. Okay. So uh, let's just do print test tree and see if we get anything back. I hope I got something. Yeah, oh yeah, we got a table. So, stop. Oops. So, if I hit uh, test tree, it should have bark material. No, that's only whenever I do a new. So, all right, print test tree dot new. Oh, new. Oh, wait, did I do that down here? Did I make it a capital N for new? No, I left it lowercase. Hmm, okay. So, 
um, let's see, blah equals test tree dot new. Let's just leave this blank. Do I have it account for something being blank? Tree object. Yes, I do. So I've got bark materials or blank. Bark color or blank. Core material or blank. So that means I don't have to pass anything in. Print. Blah. Oops. Blah. Print blah. <clears throat> Tree object a nil value. Oh. Well, that's why I've got the or in there, right? Okay. So. Print blah. Okay. What if we do this? Oak equals. Um, game dot server storage dot tree config dot oak clone what if I clone that and then I pass it in oak then can I print blah print blah will that work come on crash crash no <gasps> I got a table okay Okay, so that did work. Um, let's see. Now, where are current trees, simulated trees, get children? Uh, select planters. Yeah, not random. Okay. So, oak dot plant. What is my function? Okay. So I create a tree model function plant, and then it takes the argument of planters, which should be uh, a table of objects, which test places equals workspace land test places get children so test places I should be able to plant on right so if I do blah colon plant test places it should select a single location to plant itself hopefully oh wait wait nope Uh oh. What happened there? Uh, I don't know. Oh, dang it. <clears throat> okay, let's hit Control Z. What did I do differently here? Oh, oh, oh wait, wait. What was that? Oh, I left it. Aha! There it is. Okay, so I need to take that out. Okay, so whew, play, run, go, do things. <gasps> we got a tree of some kind. What did you do? <gasps> what did you do? Was that just a single planting? that okay so whenever we plant uh, C frame dot new select planter C frame C frame C frame can grow equals true checks checks the ray to see if there's a good spot instance dot part okay 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 blah dot anchored equals true so let's do that now it should place it on top somewhere. Ooh, there it was. It did it. It did it with an angle. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Yay. Okay. Okay, cool. 
So, I like I said, I understand that you guys might be a little frustrated that I'm not explaining the code, but this is this is a lot of code that I barely understand. Just because it, the modular scripts and the way the modular scripts actually create meta tables and everything else. And I haven't been doing this in a, a while. But this is the main part that I'm going to have to figure out and explain. So let's do this. Um, that tree, all right, if I plant, let's do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I should not be able to plant ten times, but I bet it's going to because I did a boo boo. That tree planted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten times it planted. <clears throat> so the single oak tree. <laughs> it's not doing as it was told. Um, okay. Um, well, yeah, we have to check to see if we're already planted. So, um, okay. Model.plant. Okay. So up here, check to see if we are already planted. And the way we we're going to do that is if self not select if self dot trunks is I guess it would be hashtag right hashtag for the number of greater than zero, no, less than one. So it can't be equal to one, but if it's less than one, then we can plant. Boink, just like that. And we we've got to do an end right there to, to finish out the if statement. Um, and I can say else print already planted. So this should give us a result of one. It didn't, it broke it. What in the world? Are each of these different? Oh wait, <laughs> duh. Okay, so, uh, okay, over here in the tree model, we didn't actually add this to the trunk. <laughs> Uh, so what do we need to do? Table dot append insert uh, trunk. Is it self dot trunks? Yep, self dot trunks. Self self dot trunks, comma blah. So this should insert one single part into our local table of trunks, which should give us a result of one tree and a and nine, we've already done this. Insert, uh, table expected got nil. Okay. Trunks. Trunks. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I did that backwards, I think. Comma, self, dot, trunks. Th that's trucks. <laughs> I spelled, I spelled trucks. Trunks, I need trunks. Copy. There we go. Paste that in. I hope you guys can see this. I mean, I just realized that it's like, insert, table expected, got, Object. Well, yeah, that's the object. What if I just refer to trunks? Can I just say trunks? Instead of self.trunks? <laughs> well, here, before we do any of that, let's uh, control Z all that. Oh no, I can't control Z all of that. Ooh. I can't control Z all of that either. All right. Let's do print self dot trunks wow I cannot spell tonight 
like most nights, I just can't spell. Okay, it does return a table, so there is a table in there. <clears throat> uh, do I have to do like blah equals table dot insert? How did I do it on the other one? Where's those C frames at? Uh, there's the test gen script. Where's the C frame test? C frame test. There we go. So that's the max rod. My parts. How did I do insert to my parts? Table that insert my part part one. That was simple. See, and that's I understand that. That makes sense. Because my parts is a table on the outside. Okay. So let's do let's just do trunks. Hopefully it will know what trunks is. Uh trunks. Doesn't know what trunks is, does it? Unknown global trunks. Self dot trunks. <gasps> there it is! Already planted! Okay. W was I just spelling it wrong? <gasps> I was spelling it wrong. Yay! The little planted tree. Yay! So good, so good. Okay, so um, let's see. So we can't we can't plant a tree multiple times, but we can make multiple trees. So blah two. Uh, let's do this. Trees equals blank. And then we'll do for x equals one comma ten comma one do blah equals test dot tree dot new oak and uh, table dot insert insert trees comma, blah. Uh, and let's, let's actually give this some name. Uh, new tree. Okay, and new tree equals test tree dot new oak. Okay, so basically what we're doing is we've created a list of trees. Each tree, uh, it will, then we do a loop of one to 10. New tree equals test tree dot new oak oak passes in the model that has all of the configurations to it table dot insert tree the new tree that we just created so we should have 10 newly created trees but they're not planted at all so then I can do this for I comma X in pairs trees do and then I can say X which is my object plant and I can call the plant function for each one of those objects I should get 10 individual trees uh oh what happened oh I gotta pass in the uh, the actual planter module the the models which is this right here test places test places okay whoa What happened? Oh, gotcha. Okay. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes! <laughs> so, uh, just for fun, let's do this. That was ten oak trees. Let's go over here to my oak configuration. We're just going to do duplicate. We're gonna call this. Uh, what is what is a common tree here in uh, in my good old state? M I S S O U R trees, Missouri trees. 
Let's see. Swamp Spanish Oak Sweet Gum Trees. Silver Maple. <sighs> Ooh, Silver Maple looks good. Silver Maple. Those are pretty trees. <laughs> that's going to be a hard one to program, though. That's a, that's a lot of splits. Silver Maple Tree. I don't know. That, what is that one? Cali Pear Trees? Cali Pears. We have some of those Cali pears. Plant this, not that. What is it? What is a Cali pear? The invasive Cali pear tree is a hybrid. I didn't know that. I didn't know it was invasive. Dogwoods. Cleveland flowering pear tree for sale. Oh, GG. Okay, so. Um. Let's see what was uh, what was a, a good one. Let's go, let's go back. Missouri trees. Uh, the American elm tree. American elm. Come on, let's get some pictures of some elm trees. American elm trees. Images. That's a good one. Oh wow, that's a that's a dandy right there. I like that one. Can we get a close up of that one, please? Where where did that is that the tree that is that it? That, well, yeah, that's the guy that was standing there. <laughs> so, elm tree. A little bit lighter bark. Um, green at the top, a very tall tree. So, let's go ahead and call this elm. Yeah, I'm not copying Defaultio at all. <laughs> let's not do an elm. <laughs> Bad choice code. Bad choice. Don't do that. All right, um, let's call it something else. Uh, we could call it the oak tree. No, we already have oak. Dogwood. Let's make a dogwood tree. That way I can make flowers at the ends. Um, okay, so this one is going to be dogwood. And we'll go into the configurations. We're going to change the color of the bark to what color? Flowering dogwood. Ooh, it's like a darker color. Uh, it's like a darkish greenish color. So let's go like a dark green, like an earth green. Bark material is still going to be concrete. Uh, let's actually change that. What's what's the color, the material? Uh, here, let's just make a, a test out here. Part. First off, the color was that dark green color. That looks like a zombie tree, but we're going to change the material to sandish color. No, I don't like that. Grass? No. It needs to look. No, not cobblestone. That's horrible. Fiber? Uh, doesn't look real. Cobblestone? Maybe? No, I said no cobblestone. Smooth plastic. Ooh. No, that's like a... What about wood plank? <laughs> that doesn't look right. Uh, that looks like it's been planked. Uh, just can we... Let's just stick with concrete, but I'm going to change that color. It doesn't look right. Do you see like the the colors right here? Is there any way to zoom that in? There we go. See how it's like a it is a, a, a faint greenish color. Yeah, we'll go with the faint green, and I think I'll keep it as the concrete. Uh, what else did we need as far as uh, core color? How do we want the core color to look? Core material planked cell value uh, should be f five cell value of two. Core material B 
be wood value. Core color. We'll make it that same. Mm, that's not going to look right. Uh, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. This is going to be earth green. So this needs to be earth green. Which is that one, right? I think. Earth green. Yep. So it's going to look like a zombie tree. But it's going to have a center that looks like this. Wood material and then this light green color. So it's going to it's going to kind of look like that. Uh, let's go ahead and change this move by one studs. We're going to scale this up a little bit. One like that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Hold on. Don't boink like that. Alright, and can we move that back down? There we go. And then grab you like that. Uh, this is going to go up in scale like that. And we'll just squish you down. Squish, squish, squish. Movements. Control, shift. Control, shift. Oh. Like that. Scale. Oh, wait, no. That's what I wanted. Scale like that. And I want to move ever so slightly in like that. There we go. Good. I'm going to take and duplicate that and we're going to stick it over on this side like this so it glows and then it just barely doesn't glow. So then, I should be able to take... Okay, somebody was telling me the other day, take this grass and lock it. Locked. There. Now I can't touch it. Now let's take these three, <clears throat> and we're just going to union them. Control U. Union. Now I know it's not a union, it's definitely a weld of some kind. Let's go ahead and put uh, put this out as dogwood. Uh, yeah, just dogwood. And we need to add a string value. And this is going to be can grab. Value is going to be dogwood test. So that way, that way I have a, a reference of what colors I want to use. Mm -hmm. So this, ooh, this right here, that's definitely not what a dogwood looks like. I mean, it's going to, it's going to be smaller. They're going to be a little tree. So we should probably scale that down some. Stop. Uh, scale, down, 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 down. Oh, I'm going to have to ununion them, aren't I? There we go. Alright. Let's go... What is it? Uh, negate? No, not negate. Uh, separate. And let's do this. Move. Select just this one. Move it out to about there. Take this one. We're going to scale it up to about there and then take all three of them union them once again there we go still looks pretty big and it's still really big uh oh uh oh oh I lost my my grab and that's because I forgot to rename this again to dogwood enter and my context grab, oh, 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 my context grab got removed. <clears throat> Value, er, name is Can Grab, Can Quab. He's a, he's a crabby person. No, um, value. It's going to be 
dog would test. There we go. Ooh, yay. Okay, so I, sorry, I got stuck into the build mode again. Like the silly goose I am. By the way, the rotate's like completely off. I've messed that up. <laughs> oh my gosh, 35 minutes, really? 35 minutes. Okay, let's get back into the scripting one more time. And uh, let's see, did we already have the configurations of dogwood? Uh, okay, earth green. Uh, good, 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 good. Okay, so uh, we're just going to call this oak trees. And we're going to say dogwoods equals like that. I'm going to do the same thing for this, copy, paste, we're going to make 10 of those. Uh, this right here, do I need to do that? I think I can just do this, oak equals that. So I wonder if that will work. This is going to be oak trees, copy, paste. And this is going to be dogwoods, copy, paste, and a dogwood is going to be this whole configuration, dot, uh, dogwood configuration. Hopefully that works. Uh, trees does not exist, so we're going to say uh, copy, paste. Uh, oak trees, copy, paste, and dogwoods. So we should get 10 dogwoods and 10 oak trees. They're all going to be the same kind of part, but... Okay, they, they're just all replicated oaks, not what happened there. Okay, did I get dogwood in there? Tree models. Regions. Dogwood. Create. Oh! <laughs> That's why. That's because I didn't pass in the dogwood. I passed in the oak. There we go. Go! So now we should have. Uh, yes! Very good. So now I've got two kinds of trees. Oh gosh, they're not supposed to be growing on top of each other. That's horrible. We'll have to uh, put some kind of separation out so they can't grow right next to each other. But the angles are awesome. Original angles, I mean. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, real quick, the entire gin script, I will, uh, I'll zoom this in so you guys can see the whole thing. Feel free to pause the video and take down notes or copy what you need to. But here it is, I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. You can see everything that I've got. I'll move this over a little bit so you can see over there. Come back over here. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Scroll, 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 scroll. That's it for that one. And then tree module script, mod, model, model script. Here, we can get rid of that. <clears throat> right there. And I will post what I can as far as the scripts go. Again, feel free to pause anytime. Record what you need to. Tree model background. Wait, did I already have a tree model? Tree model dot plant, but I have not done a grow yet. Grow. So most likely what's going to happen is the moment one of these gets created and it's got its own configuration, I'm going to have to fire off its own life cycle, which should be a separate entity down here at the bottom. So I could do like 10 of them, let them grow themselves out, and they'll keep track of their own bark, trunks, leaves, and if it gets chopped, take that portion of leaf like half half log and parts create it as a grabbable object in world that can drop and can be chopped so that's a lot to take in i mean 
honestly, that's that was a lot of scripting. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Let's Make a Game with me, Heath Haskins, co prime Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but it's really up to you. It's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, I'm cool with that too. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <laughs> Outro.